so hey guys what's up i'm pesedi here and welcome back to another visual effect tutorial so last time i created a visual effect for beginners where i added simulation smoke simulation i got a lot of love from your side so that's why i try to make another visual effect tutorial where i will add simulation in this time we will do some amazing cloth simulation like here you can see and for completing this tutorial you need a footage which you can go and shoot by yourself hey guys welcome back and right now i am here at the top seven wonders of the world taj mahal so let's make some stunning visual effect with taj mahal let's go you need a 3d model which will be you know ghost in this case and we need a hat and also a sunglasses so i'll provide a link of sunglasses and hat in my video description where you can go and download it i downloaded it from sketch file for the character i use a simple character from mixamo we are not going to use any animations so you don't need uh, you, you don't have to go uh, specially for mixamo you can also download any character from uh, sketch file but if you want a uh, animated character you can go escape uh, mixamo and download it so uh, this looks really cool and uh, i thought why not we should make a tutorial about it and guys if you are really interested about visual effect our new course is already available where i explain a lot of visual effect technique with four different types of effects so you can go there and check it that course is really really amazing i'm not saying just because i made it i am saying just because i added a lot of information in that tutorial so that will help you a lot even if you are a beginner okay so let's get started this tutorial so first i'll go to the new project so i'll go to the file and let me go to the file new new project and here just double tap so ignore the click sound which is coming from my mouse okay let me import the footage let's drag and drop this clip over here and disable caps lock and this is the footage 6 second long and a lot of people say why you are using you know after effect to track you can also use blender to track so i am using after effect because the tracking system of after effect is very easy we just need to apply the effect and if it's create any error we can just tweak it with you know very less time and we can get a good camera solve but in this way we need a you know a plugin called a to blend which help to you know transfer this after effect camera tracking data to inside blender you can also use blender itself to track and do all the magic which we are doing in this tutorial and in our course i explained three different workflow to do tracking let's go to the effect and control press control space this is a fx console to search things you can also go over here and search effect and preset like here and search the 3d camera tracker effect okay stuff 3d camera tracker and just drag and drop to this clip and it will start tracking my clip analysis all failed okay so let me delete this let me pre comb this footage okay let's double tap here and let's apply a tint effect and also a curves effect to add some more contrast in our scene okay and come back here and let's apply 3d camera tracker effect once again and let's see if it will do the job and here you can see 206 frames total frames okay all right so here you can see we easily get this okay if i go to the advanced section here you can see the average error is 0.41 which is amazing so let's select this 3d camera tracker and just drag and find a area find this area okay right click make it set ground plane and origin okay so this is our origin of the 3d world right click once again and create solid and camera and it will create a solid and also a camera i'll select the solid press s and scale it okay press w and i can adjust it little bit i can also apply a effect called grid and now i can just come back here and i just copy this original footage control c and control v here okay and here i can just delete all this effect and put above here and disable our tracking layer okay so here you can see it is pretty good so control s to save this and this will be our so now i have to send this as floor data and also our camera data inside blender so for that i need a a to blend add on so first i'll open blender and guys thank you so much i made two full detailed tutorial for the vfx for the beginners and both video crossed 100k views this is super amazing so thank you so much and i also raised a poll few days ago 
where I ask the people what the level of their visual effect and a lot of odd goes to the VFX for beginners so that's why I am making again so that if you are a beginner this videos will help you a lot and if you want to know more details you can definitely go and check out our course okay so here I already installed AE to blend it is $10 add-on which cost you 800 to 1000 rupees in inside India which is not uh, you know big deal so let me uh, go to the after effect I will go here and press U and copy this okay Control C to copy go to the blender and before doing anything here is a scale I will put 1000 okay and create camera right now you will, here you can see our camera is start from zero I'll just drag one frame forward and add 206 over here for the end frame and I will select this camera and if you start play here you can see something is happening our camera is moving I'll go to the after effect again and select our solid and copy this four transform anchor point position scale and orientation control C to copy go to the blender first frame and create plane and if you start play here you can see it's not matching okay so i will go to the after effect select our camera double tap and here you can see the focal length is 30 mm Control c to copy go to the blender and select our camera and go to the camera properties and change the focal length to 30 okay and let's start play but to check if it's working or not i have to load our footage back here so i'll go to the add image movie clip open and I will choose the footage okay so I get also a lot of comments like people say hey what we will do if we don't have a you know landscape video if we have a vertical video what should we do so go to the output properties and change this so in this case I have a 1080 by 1920 clip and change the frame rate to the 30 also come back to the camera properties and enable opacity 1 okay so if we we'll start play here you can see it's not aligning okay we fix the uh, camera lens but it's not aligning i get also a lot of comment like hey what we do it's not aligning and all okay so what i will do i know my focal length was around 16 to 18 mm okay so maybe i can put it manually over here if you are using your smartphone go to the your smartphone official website and check what is your camera focal length so in this case I am using a wide angle lens so here maybe I'll put 17 mm and I'll select this plane and if I'll scale it and if I'll play so here you can see it's perfectly aligned so now it's time to add other stuff okay so here I need a 3d model of a character first I'll go to the file import and fbx and this is our model so import fbx and here you can see the size is small okay so maybe first i will just delete this keyframe because we don't need any animation and press m and move this into a new collection called man press s and scale it a bit gx and move it over here and let's play and see so here you can see our character is perfectly stand on the ground and camera is also moving and everything looks pretty fine so i hope you are really enjoying this tutorial and uh, please hit the like button and let's go so the next case is i want to move this uh, character looking forward so if i'll select this amateur and right click select hierarchy and if i'll press rz here you can see press 180 we are good to go and guys you can also parent uh, empty with this character and that way you can move and rotate scale without any error okay so i'll select this character body okay alpha joint and alpha surface and uh, i'll select both ctrl j to join and uh, ctrl a and apply all the scale for this perfect because you know whenever you are going to do physics simulation and or any kind of physics you must have to enable uh, you know apply all the scale this way it will help blender calculate so here i'll add a new plane because our scene is not so complex so i can do all the stuff over here easily okay so i'll select this press ctrl press shift s and move our cursor to select it so right now our cursor is here press shift a and create a new plane press m and move this into a new collection called cloth also double tap and rename this to the cloth okay press s and scale it press gz and move it over here perfect press tab to go inside the edit mode and you can add some resolution and also maybe you can move stuff like and create a weird plane like okay if you want you can do it so press s x s y so here if you press n here you can see the scale press ctrl a and apply the scale and right now it's set to the one which is necessary for the simulation so this is pretty much it i will select this plane press tab and just right click add subdivide and it will add some geometry resolution inside our plane press tab 
to go outside, go to the physics and add cloth and change this preset Denny for now and play and boom. I will select this and add a collision and this is for the particle so I will hide. Thickness outer maybe add 0.2 and inner 0.25 and uh, let's play perfect here maybe i'll just add 0.15 and let's play again let's add 0.1 0.2 and uh, see what's going on so right now here is a, another issue here you can see our we have very less geometry and also our cloth is colliding itself which i don't want so first i will select this uh plane and guys whenever you select anything like, like if you select this the effect and parameter which we applied over here it will visible over here so if you want to change the cloth you must have to select the cloth okay so here i will change this to maybe cotton i will go down and here is option called collision enable it and enable self collision and let's play and check so boom here you can see but i think we have very less geometry so i will select this and go to the modifier tab and here i will add a modifier called subdivision surface modifier and put it before the cloth simulation and first let's try with one level so here you can see we added some detailings looks pretty okay and here is another stuff here you can see our cloth is going intersecting with the ground so i can select this ground and i can up apply the collision okay and let's play and see once again so if you want to collide like if you want to add a uh, like cloth where it's colliding with ground you can do it but i don't want so maybe i will just disable the collision from the ground press s and down the scale a bit control a and apply the scale and let's play and here you can see perfect okay so the next thing is let's play so basically i want a animation where i don't wanna show i mean where i don't wanna visible this like it's falling on top of a character and then you know i want a video where the cloth is already present like in this position so i will highly recommend first decide a look like i like it here okay so first i will you know just see it and maybe i can also rotate this let's let's do it here press rz and rotate it a bit okay and let's start play and see this looks pretty okay perfect and here what i will do guys i will simply apply this subdivision first and then apply this cloth on the modifier text. so now there is no animation or cloth is set this by default so first i'll just right click set smooth now here i'll go to the physics tab again and add a cloth and boom if i'll start play here you can see this is what actually I want. Now let's go here and just add a silk and let's tab and play and see. We will do go down little and enable self collision just like we do earlier. And here now we will add a wind. So if I go to the shift A and go to the force field and let's add a wind. Press R X, press R Y, okay, R Z like over here. And if I select this wind and go to the strength, enable it and also enable the increase the flow. 7 and let's add 100 over here and let's see. So here you can see we are doing something. It's pretty small. So what I can do more, I can go select the cloth, go down, fill the weight and let's add the gravity maybe like 2, 2 times. Okay. Select this wind and just double the wind amount also and let's check. So it's looking more good. Also, I can create another force called turbulence and change the strength maybe like 100 size will, will be 1 and flow will be maybe like 5 or the first frame and let's see like it will add some turbulence in wind here you can see looks pretty good right so this looks pretty okay so i'll go to select the cloth and uh, maybe i can add some more geometry okay here i can also bump the quality steps if i want so let's change this to cotton for a while and see if cotton looks pretty okay to me yeah cotton looks also pretty okay so let's add the quality step to maybe 8 and go down and here i can also add the collision maybe 4 control s to save and i will go to the cache cache okay and here if you want you can also again add a subdivision surface and by the way we are adding uh, you know after cloth and make it 2 and here i can again add subdivision surface before cloth simulation and make it one resolution so select the cloth go to the physics tabs delete all the bakes and bake all dynamics and i want 206 that's 
the maximum number of frames okay bake all dynamics and wait for it looks pretty good but i don't know why this this wind is not working it looks pretty good but this wind is not working so maybe i'll just boost the intensity to like 500 and uh, i will just select this cloth go down delete all the bake and bake all dynamics once again okay it's done let me play and check all right so this cloth is pretty good but maybe you can experiment a little bit more and add some more wind intensity okay so i'm going with this one okay this looks not intense and this is kind of okay okay so here i will add a hat and glasses next okay so for that i'll go to the file import and choose a file format which you have okay so i will choose zltf select hat import it press m and move this into a new collection called hat okay s and just down the scale press dot to zoom press save and to go to the top of view and just align it over here okay and create another view by clicking and dragging okay so this will be for the camera and this will be for the orientation here you can see this is the front view this looks pretty okay press r and just tilt a bit okay Control a and apply the scale so go to the file import gltf again sunglasses perfect press m and move this this into a new collection called glasses press slash to solo this press this metal preview mode so right now we have a two glass one which has uh, some print and another one also have some prints select this one and just delete so here i will select all the objects and control j to join right click set origin to the geometry and alt g to reset the transformation press r z to rotate a bit more and press control shift and move selection to cursor or glass will be here some glass will be here and here if you zoom now i have to press r z and rotate this in r z 90 degree press s and scale it down g y and move it here press g z and move it down maybe press a control one and also press r to tilt it a bit all right so press save for the top view press s to scale it a bit so here you can see it's looking pretty good this looks pretty okay i'll select this uh, or model and go to the man option okay disable in viewport and also in the rendering and now let's add some texture and lighting so i'll just click here and it will switch this view into the rendered view I'll come back here and change this render engine to the cycle and change CPU to GPU. Okay, perfect. Also select this amateur and hide it from the viewport and render. And uh, now here I will just add first lighting. But for before that, I also want to see our footage. So I will go to the render settings, film and enable transparent. Okay. Now let's go to the world here i can add uh, environment texture if you don't have environment texture you can go hdri heaven and download a uh, you know similar one or you can just click new and go to the color and use a uh, sky texture and you can just play with some you know ozone air and also sun intensity and also overall strength also you can just rotate your sun like this here you can see and also play with the sun evolution like in this case i think it will be like 45 so here you can see it's also doing pretty good job here i can increase the air so it will add some pollution okay basically like yellow tone here so in this case i like it so i don't think i have to add any hdri you know i have hdri 3 6GI, but this is working pretty fine here i can you know our sun here you can see our shadow is very sharp so maybe i can increase one and it will add some you know softness in our shadows so this looks pretty uh, you know okay i can select our ground plane and 
I'll just, you know, finally check if anything is going off. So things are working pretty well. So here I will just join this area and also go here and enable render region. I'll come back here and change this view to the shader editor. Select this ground plane and click here and let's rename this to the floor. And guys, if you already watched all of my two previous two tutorials, you know what I'm going to do right now. So here I will import my footage once again. So here I'll import my footage once again and I have to just simply plug this color into the base color okay and change this cycle art to refresh and also make the frame for uh, like 400 okay here I can press ctrl T and guys by the way this is node wrangler you must have to go to the edit preferences add on and search a node wrangler and enable it here I will change this to the window and this is pretty much it and I am doing it just because it will you know bounce back this reflection and light okay so here, here I will just down increase the roughness full and uh, down this all this stuff okay and here I will just add a uh, brightness and contrast node make it 0.5 I can add hue and saturation maybe this and maybe just down some value you know try to roughly match with our you know uh, like a real ground okay and this looks pretty uh, you know okay to me so this is it for this one i will select this again and i only want the shadow okay so i will select and go to the object tool i will select this plane you know this floor plane this floor plane and go to the here and go to the visibility and enable shadow catcher so now it will only you know catch the shadow which is actually what i want i will select this cloth material okay first i will select this glass go to the material and here you can see we have a few material so i'm gonna select this wire maybe and make it black enable little metallic everything is pretty fine and the rest is pretty good i will select this cloth click here to create a new material and let's rename this to the cloth for the cloth what i did actually create a voronoi texture plug this distance into the base color and increase the scale a lot okay so here you can see increase it a lot and i can play between f1 and f2 so this looks pretty okay to me add 500 you know add some roughness increase the scene because in cloth we usually see some scene okay new bump node plug this distance into the normal and plug this normal into this normal and maybe i can just switch between normal and high okay so here you can see something is happening make it down let's play with this height yeah perfect height let's down the distance to one and strength maybe little less okay so it's, it will look like a leather okay here i can just uh, add a color ramp effect and just change this white color maybe little dark like this here you can see so this looks pretty uh, you know believable to me with the roughness a bit more and definitely you can play uh, a bit more to any kind of magic if you wanna do if you wanna change uh, stuff you can al also change it but this is the look which i made okay so if i'll create another window over here maybe it's a editor and just click another and let's change this to the timeline this is our tutorial man let's take a screenshot so i hope you learned something and guys wait this tutorial is not over yet okay so we have to do rendering obviously so the easiest task which i will explain today to render okay go to the render settings and first decide the render samples so here i will choose 512 or maybe you will if you have a low end system just like i am using a laptop recently i also share a full review of the laptop which i am using and that video is not sponsored i shared everything with my process and the things which i made here today also so this is a uh, good uh, enable d noise and i can play with the light path and choose this to the full global illumination okay this is the high end setting which is not necessary okay default one also looks pretty fine so we are free to play and all Go to the output properties and here i'll find a location and accept and here i will just uh, i can just down the compression to zero okay and i'm re rendering in rgb with alpha with png okay so it will render only this uh, our character and all and uh, with shadow okay so let me go to the render and image and it will render a single frame and here you can see it is rendering and here you can also see the time so it took me around like 10 seconds okay here you can see the cloth glass you know and this is also the shadow and if you want to separate everything you can also go to the passes and separate different different passes okay 
but for the tutorial purposes it is pretty fine for the more details you can go and watch our amazing course okay perfect the next thing which i have to do now is just press this magical button called render and render animation so i'll press it and i will see you once it will done the rendering okay so rendering here you can see 200 206 frame done let's open after effect and open the last project where we did 3d tracking okay taj mahal vfx now let's double tap here and find the directory where you exported all the animations okay so this is taj mahal vfx select the first one pn make sure to check this png sequence okay and import select this composition and if i go to the composition settings here you can see the frame rate is 30 and the one we which we imported i'll go to the interpret footage main here you can see it's 30 so it's pretty good let's drag and drop it over here and if i'll disable the ground and if i'll start play here you can see from the beginning little bit let's be and if i'll start play here you can see it's pretty good maybe i i should uh, you know just rotate the cap and the glass sun glasses little bit more in front of here but yeah that's a little trick which you can do when ever you are you know rendering but yeah that's the main idea to make animations and simulation like this okay let's create a new adjustment layer so this is the rendered clip if maybe i can add a curves effect over especially here and add some contrast i want i can just do it so here is everything this is before this is so for me it's it looks amazing already so let's create a new adjustment layer on top of everything and here maybe i will add a lumetri color for the basic correction okay and guys if i will zoom this is our original clip and this is our main you know 3d render so it's not too blurry and it's not to sharp so i don't think i have to do anything extra on this footage but maybe if i try to add a sharpen effect and make it like 8% so it will be a little sharp like it is in a focus something like that i don't know but yeah you can do it go to the here and uh, maybe i can just add a contrast to everything okay maybe just add a highlight a bit more down the black go to the creative and here increase the vibrance a bit and down the saturation go down to the curves here and click in this segment and just play a bit i'll go more down to the vignette and just add a vignette little bit and i can go also on the color wheels and play with the shadow like i can down the shadow lift the mid tone and i can also lift the highlight so if i'll play so here you can see floating ghost or something like that so i hope you really enjoy this tutorial and i hope now you can make something like this anywhere in the world and if you make anything please tag me on instagram use as the right mpsd or hashtag mpsd i will love to watch your result and if i will like i will definitely share with our community and guys is don't forget to check out our amazing course and also you can like our this video if you learn something and you can also subscribe our channel if you are new here because more stuff are coming on the way and a big shout out to all of my patreon and youtube pro members who are supporting me from all along and they are capable to download this project file so thank you so much for watching this tutorial thank you so much for loving me i am in pesredi and i will see you next time this is it guys bye bye and take care